saw CPI raise 0.06% last month and was up 3.7% from a year ago. So economists were looking for an increase of 0.06% and a 3.6%. So obviously we met the increase of 0.06, but the number that came in hot was the 3.7 versus 3.6. And we said in the video yesterday that I didn't expect the market to crater unless we saw something crazy like 3.8 or 3.9, maybe even in the four. So yes, this report does quote, interrupt the good news that we've been seeing. But at the end of the day, it seems that the market is still continuing to move its way up. And at the end of the day, just because something should happen in the market, whether you're an investor or a trader, obviously those of you who have been doing this for a long time understand that that doesn't always happen. And that's why we adjust for risk. And that's also why we accept all of our risks when we take positions. And speaking of positions, we're now going to cover the Tesla calls and we're gonna go look at the charts for Tesla to get a better explanation of why I took the trade and if I think we can still see 280 and $300. Position I entered was yesterday at 11.26 a.m. I posted this within the Twitter group as well as our Discord community. So follow me on Twitter, which the link is in the description if you want my fast up-to-date trades and our Discord community. I posted saying that I was starting a trade on Tesla. I said an entry with three September 22nd, 272.50 calls at an average of $8.10. Whenever I'm trading, if my expectancy is, let's say one day, I will always go at least one week further than I think. For me personally, I would rather deal with less data decay, I would rather trade at the money, and I would rather just not deal with the overwhelming majority of options that just turn to dust because of theta decay. Ended up going one extra week out instead of going with this Friday the 15th. I started with three because my plan was to average down and we're gonna talk about the specific points I was looking at. A couple of hours later at 12.51 p.m. we see that Tesla was selling off as I posted with a one minute divergence where I added three more contracts and from there I close out today at 149. Now the reason I entered my position yesterday is because we had this bullish flag that was forming on the one hour chart. You can see we had this big gap up on Friday, September 8th, where we made this extremely strong run up to about $275. From there, we ended up pulling back down and you can see yesterday we were trading right at about $271 at about 11.45. And what I was watching for at the time was this potential bounce that I was hoping to see off of the 11 SMA and off of this volume profile. So I was hoping to see yesterday the move up to $280. So at the time, our take profit was up at 280. I was planning to average a little more at about 270 and set a stop loss at about 265.75. First started by entering this position, as I stated, I grabbed three more contracts down here around 267.60 and the plan was to have my average around here and set the stop loss on a lower low today, somewhere around 264.50 or 265. The take profit was up at 280 bucks. So as today came, we had that initial run. I should have sold at highs today at 275.11, but I didn't. I waited for us to pull back. We bounced again and I sold today around 273.53. Now the reason I didn't hold, I still think Tesla can continue to run up to $280 and I actually did swing another position overnight that was a, a different trade. And so the reason I didn't go through was I didn't want to see us continue to consolidate with that specific contract for the next couple of days and not get the quick move up to $280. I was happier with just taking the profit that I had. I closed a lot of profits today. This week I'm up about $16,000, which is just absolutely amazing. And for me, I don't have to push anything for the rest of the week. I don't have to get greedy. I don't have to try to post bigger profits or do anything nuts. I really just have to focus at this point on capital conservation, trading as stress-free as possible. And since I'm a long-term investor in Tesla, I have 400 shares, watching this thing run to $280 while I don't have a big call position is still more than fine.